In this topic, we are going to talk about knowledge transfer in multinational corporations. Uh, we are talking about the concept of knowledge uh, in organizations. And in the previous topics, we have discussed about what is knowledge, what is organizational knowledge, what is transferred, and what are the channels of transfer. Uh, in this topic, we are going to talk about uh, the concept of knowledge transfer and what are its dimensions. Like in multinational corporations, what are the dimensions of knowledge transfer uh, in these entities? So the first dimension of knowledge transfer is the nature of knowledge. Ke nature of knowledge kya hai? Kis tarha ka knowledge jo hai? Wo multinationals mein transfer kiya jata hai from one place to the other, particularly within the organization from subsidiary to subsidiary. And also from the environment to the subsidiaries. Uh, so the first dimension is whether the knowledge is explicit or tacit knowledge. This is something that we have discussed already. What is the difference between tacit knowledge and explicit knowledge? You can refer to that particular topic. So if, whether if uh, explicit knowledge has to be transferred, it is something which is very much clear. It is something which is structured and easy to transfer. Whereas tacit knowledge is something which is difficult to transfer because it cannot be codified into language or uh, it cannot be codified into text. Uh, then another dimension is whether the knowledge is internal knowledge or whether it is external knowledge. Now, what is internal knowledge? Now, internal knowledge is that particular knowledge which is held by the company itself. It lies at the core of the company's knowledge structure. So, uh, the organization's basic um, uh, technology, organization's uh, systems, its processes, its structures, all of them, they are based on the internal knowledge which is held by the people of the organization. It is held by the human capital of the organization. Uh, so, it is something which, is li which lies internally within the core of the organization. And it is developed through interaction with its units. So, the uh, internal knowledge is that you have members ke saath aur members ke units ke saath interaction se develop hota hai. So, internal knowledge is something which is developed internally and it is held by the units and developed by the units. Now, the other aspect is that of external knowledge. External knowledge is that which lies outside the core of the organization. It is largely derived from specific problems and needs of other parties. So, uh, the external knowledge is what you need to uh, manage your external networks. So, for example, the knowledge about your customers, the knowledge about your clients, the knowledge about your environment, the knowledge about your society, about the culture. That is the external knowledge which is linked with what is happening outside the organization. So that is something which is related with the inputs and outputs of the organization. Uh, and internal knowledge is something which is related with the, um, uh, it is related with the processes of the organization with the conversion of inputs into outputs. That is something which is done by internal knowledge and inputs and outputs are related with the external knowledge. And that is related with knowledge of the local dynamics. And uh, for an organization, internal knowledge may be the same for a multinational organization throughout their subsidiaries, whether they are operating in, um, in America or they are operating in Europe or in the Middle East. Uh, wherever they are, their internal knowledge is something which is which can be uh, unified which can be replicated whereas external knowledge is something which is different for each and every uh, place and context so wherever you go the local context the local dynamics they will always vary in some contexts they will vary more in some contexts they will vary a little bit less but they will vary and therefore on the basis of that you need to manage according to the external knowledge that you get from the environment so this is the difference. Internal knowledge is something which lies at the core. It is something which can be controlled. It is something which can be developed. It is something which can be transferred, replicated, etc. 
whereas external knowledge is something which is localized it is something which is related with the context it is something which is related with the local dynamics it is something which cannot be replicated and it may not be useful to replicate it because when the context changes the local dynamics changes the um uh, the uh, the way you handle those situations and the way you handle that particular context that also changes so the utility of external knowledge may not be as much as it is uh, in one context than the other so one aspect is the nature of knowledge ki kis tarah ka knowledge jo hai wo transfer karne ki zarurat hoti hai organizations ke andar uske baad ek aur jo dimension hai knowledge transfer ki ke knowledge transfer zyada hoga ya kam hoga wo uske upar ek aur cheez jo hai wo effect karti hai that is absorptive capacity absorptive capacity word se hi aapko andaza ho gaya hoga ki kitni capacity aapke andar absorb karne ki सो so, एब्जॉर्ब करने की कैपेसिटी जो है वो बहुत सी चीज़ों से डिटरमिन की जाती है सबसे पहले तो जो एब्जॉर्बटिव कैपेसिटी है दैट इज दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन द एबिलिटी टू रिकग्नाइज द वैल्यू ऑफ न्यू एक्सटर्नल इंफॉर्मेशन एसिमुलेट इट एंड अप्लाई इट टू कमर्शल एंड्स सो इट इज़ द एबिलिटी वेदर यू यू आर यू आर सेंसिटिव टू द इंफॉर्मेशन विच यू आर गेटिंग यू आर एबल टू रिकग्नाइज दैट इंफॉर्मेशन यू आर एबल टू absorb that information and knowledge and then after absorbing that knowledge and information you are able to convert that into some commercial and profitable ends in your particular context so ye sab kuch jo hai ye aapki ability pe depend karta hai kitni aapke andar capacity hai aapko multinational jo hai wo bahar se aake sare systems establish kar dein aapko sare technology de dein lekin agar aapki andar absorptive capacity nahi hai अगर आपके पास वो स्किल्स और प्री रेक्विजिट नॉलेज नहीं है तो देन इट विल बी डिफिकल्ट फॉर योर बिकॉज यू डू नॉट हैव द एब्जॉर्बटिव कैपेसिटी सो इट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज गोइंग टू हिंडर द प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रांसफर ऑफ नॉलेज फ्रॉम द मल्टानेशनल टू द सब्सिडरी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट फैक्टर्स इन इंटरनल नॉलेज ट्रांसफर इज द एब्जॉर्बटिव कैपेसिटी सो वेदर यू आर गोइंग टू Uh, transfer the internal knowledge from one subsidiary to the other or from ha- headquarters to the subsidiary it is going to depend on your absorptive capacity so this is one of the most important and significant factors uh, then another factor is uh, within the absorptive capacity is your motivation so if you are if you do have the ability skills knowledge prerequisite skills everything is there but if willingness and motivation is not there then also the transfer of knowledge in the multinational will be affected by this particular prerequisite so willingness of the subsidiary staff and their motivation is another decisive factor in knowledge transfer within the multinational corporation it is something which is very important if people in the uh, in the subsidiary they are not ready to accept the knowledge from the headquarters or from the multinational uh, the the knowledge transfer is not going to टेक प्लेस एंड वाई वुडेंट दे वॉन्ट टू डू दैट मोटिवेशन क्यों नहीं होती आपका नया नॉलेज को एब्जॉर्ब करने की नया नॉलेज ऑलवेज ब्रिंग्स सम काइंड ऑफ न्यू लर्निंग इट ब्रिंग्स सम काइंड ऑफ चेंज ऑफ सर्कमस्टांसिस इट ब्रिंग्स चेंज इन प्रोसेस सो न्यू नॉलेज मे डिस्टर्ब्ड एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन करंट प्रैक्टिस एंड वर्किंग रूटीन्स सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वॉन्ट्स यू टू shift from manual recording documentation to computerized documentation it is something which is definitely more beneficial it is something which is efficient it is something which is going to uh, reduce the cost the uh, it is easier to do but uh, we see that whenever some kind of change is brought about which is related with learning and knowledge transfer people are reluctant to do that why because it needs a specific amount of significant amount of time and effort to change that work routine so a person who is uh, habitual of working on a register in a manual paper pencil style it is difficult for that person to leave that paper pencil style and convert and shift to a computerized system although it is something which is definitely more beneficial so this is something which is difficult to Uh, knowledge transfer is difficult to uh, take place because motivation is not there and motivation is not there because resistance happens because it is something which is difficult to uh, let go of 
and therefore that leads to the concept of internal stickiness uh, stickiness to previous processes stickiness to previous um uh, practices stickiness to so many the different things uh, so the factors that impede transfer of knowledge within a company they are the uh, they are something which constitute the internal stickiness of the organization so that includes motivational factors they also include the knowledge related factors and particularly in the knowledge related factors they stem from the tacit context related ambiguous knowledge which is difficult to transfer from one location to the other so uh, for example if uh, you are talking about knowledge transfer which is related with uh, uh, with converting from paper and pencil manual documentation to computerized documentation it is something which is very much structured and easy to implement even then it is something which is difficult to implement because of the motivational factors but it is something which is explicit which constitutes explicit, uh, explicit knowledge but things which uh, constitute tacit knowledge for example leadership and management skills management practices uh, teamwork and all these things uh, they are difficult to replicate because they constitute context related tacit knowledge which which is uh, first of all it is difficult to uh, display it is difficult to role play it is difficult to communicate and secondly people are more resistant to uh, taking it up because it is ambiguous and there is no clear communication and transformation of that uh, so uh, these are the diff uh, different factors which affect the transfer of knowledge in the multinational corporations whether it is the nature of knowledge or it is the absorptive capacity or is it the internal stickiness of the organization all of these things they affect how the knowledge is going to be transferred in the multinational